So anyway guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, everything run faster. This is I genocide, so I'm going to be narrating this because I don't want to do it all by myself. Now, first you're going to need to go to your control panel. So, watch myself go to control panel. <coughs> yes, I'm going to control panel right now. Um, second thing you need to do, uh, what I'm doing right now in the top right corner is rambling on. I, this is why I deleted the audio. Rambling on about how to fix uh, small icons, big icons. But uh, you want to go to power options. And uh, I didn't really explain this too well, but balance recommended is really bad. It's not good, and uh, power saver is not good either. High performance is probably the best one you can pick out of the bunch of them, to be honest. So I go ahead and click that one, even though I already have it marked. It's already it's already highlighted, so I don't really need to do anything. Trust me, I didn't. This ain't fake, guys. This stuff is real. And um, I'm pretty sure I just exit out of it after I go to my freaking power. I'm talking about how it, like... How it fixes my power and everything, and then that's like a shit <laughs> that popped up on my computer screen. Yeah, there you go. I clicked it, and then I go to you want to right click on the Windows thing on Windows 10, and then you want to go to System. I don't know how to do it on Windows. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Windows 7, but um, I, can't you see, you see that System thing after I right clicked? That's how you go there. That's how you get to where I'm going faster. So you want to go back to your control panel, and then on the far right side. Um, second to last, it should say system, but the blue monitor. Took me a while to find it, there it is. <laughs> and then, um, you wanna, I'm gonna pull up the screen here in a second, I should at least, yeah, there we go. Should go to remote settings. Oh, I'm pretty sure I pulled down this window too, there you go. Go to advanced, and then go to performance, and then hit settings. And then it should be at, uh, let Windows choose your favorite or the best performance. And... You don't want to, <coughs> you don't want to pick that one because that one, uh, it's like, it adds like different, like fonts and default, like shadows on icons and it's just, it makes your computer run really slow. So you want to go to best performance, makes your computer run so fabulously, uh, best, like, uh, I'm pretty sure best look or what does that say? I don't know what that says. It's too, the screen's too small. I'm like narrating this and it sucks. So yeah, that's what you need to do. And you hit OK, and then you exit. And this is where it gets a little tricky. I'll be, I'll add the stuff in the description, but this is where it gets a little, little tricky. You want to open? Uh, you want to open up your Steam? I'll show you. I'm, I'm dragging the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Go to Library, go to Games, right click on CS:GO or Counter-Strike Global Offense, go to Select Launch Options. Or set launch option, exit out of that, and exit out of that, and exit out of that. <laughs> and then what you want, <laughs> hang on, I, I couldn't find the, uh, the FPS thing because it was underneath my uh, the Steam thing, so I had to like freaking copy and paste into the Steam thing first. Um, here it is. And then I'm pretty sure I start up, uh, yeah, you guys don't have to do this part, this is just me trying to make it easier so you guys see what I'm doing. Uh, I got. I open up a notepad. Um, I minim. I end up minimizing this. I think. Yeah, I end up minimizing it. There, see, there it is. See that freaking thing, sneaky. You can see it. Um. Come on, pull it up. There you go. So I copy and paste, and this is what you need to have in it. Um, where it says threads, those aren't your guys's. Don't ever add that into your own unless you have dual mon or dual co. Dual or two cores, that's all I'm gonna say. I can't say the other word. Oh no, I'm a little challenged on that. Um, <laughs> so, you wanna do, if you have two cores, and that's what you use, like you could have a quad, you have a dual, uh, you could have six, you got eight. Um, I have two, so I put two. And I'm about to show you guys how to find out your uh, cores here in a second. Wait for it to. Um, Wait for myself to do it. The rest of it doesn't really matter. Just copy and paste. But that you need to fix yourself. Depending on what you have. Uh, please don't. Just put that in. I want you guys to see what you actually have. And if you don't know how to do it yet. Go to hit control. Delete. Go to task manager. Uh, and then go to performance. And then it should say uh, cores right there. Um, 
and you want that's what you want to put down that's what I put down so I have two cores and yeah so that's what you want to put down I'm sitting there showing off my shit computer look at that I'm, I'm like saying it has 14 171 freaking things I don't know what it says because I can't see it because the screen is really fucking tiny um I end up exiting out and you just want to copy and paste it after you find out your own. So I hit copy and then I ended up saving that because I wanted to keep it but I have another one right under this shit. So I hit paste and I hit okay. So that should make your game run a lot faster guys. If you have any questions, notify me in the comments. And um, you want me to make more videos like this on how to like make unturn go faster, how to make everything go faster, just let me know. I already have another video uploaded at before this and it shows how to make your PC run a lot faster. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one.